rising venus signs welcome to your five card draw what do i need read for this new moon in cancer to full moon in capricorn june to july 2022 i am your reader pisces moon mark angelo lyons mal for short Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998. That's 24 years in business as a professional witch. I am the author of Words of Grace from a Professional Witch. It is available on Kindle. There's a link in the description box. You can preview the first bunch of pages for free uh, and read the dedication to my mom, which still to this day resonates to the core of who I am. And I am a creator on Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle, humans, heroes, angels, witches, immortals, gods, and goddesses over there, building our own pantheon, our lovely community, letting my creativity out full force, exclusive stuff, pretty much daily check-ins, talking about the day's lunar astrology, uh, and uh, all of that jazz. Come check it out. I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions. You can call me Mal, and I am your ally, and uh, I am your sister that came back as a mister in this time of tremendous transformation and upheaval. Let's just say the collective divine feminine ain't thrilled right now at the time of this recording. Pisces moon that I am feminist that I am. If you meet my mom, it makes sense. Uh, uh, so uh, let's talk about this and then we'll get down uh, to business well aware of what's going on on planet Earth with the overturning of Roe versus Wade, obviously. Uh, uh, tuned into it, feeling it, the rage of the divine feminine, like half the universal energy in the end, just sort of like, what? <laughs> right? It's Amazon time, all right? It's, it's Themyscira now, all right? Let's just, we'll leave that there right now, but that's what makes this uh, reading and uh, the lunar reads that I do on this channel the most important thing that I can put out to the public. Uh, the waxing uh, reads, five card draw, the waning reads, the seven Seven card draws are all about the lunar tides, the divine feminine, the vibrational, the internal, which creates the external if you want to go there. So, uh, and what we're about to do here is look at the Pisces collective in terms of what they yearn for, what they burn for, their heart's desires. And your heart's desires are part of a larger plan, woven by the gods before we ever set foot on this planet, so to speak. Quantum, quantum, timey, wimey, wibbly, wobbly, figure it out. I don't know. It's a mystery. I'm a mystic. We go with it to the best of our ability. Uh, so I'm here to help you uh, fulfill your heart's desires, because as you do, you're shifting timelines from lead to gold. You're moving into more unity consciousness. Uh, more uh, equality between masculine and feminine, to say the least. Cool? Am I feeling a little revolutionary? Absolutely I am, but I am wearing my blessing cords. This is my magic lasso, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So uh, so let's get up in this gig. If you're new to the channel, a five-card draw is one card from five different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints about a specific astrological timeline. As I said, a waxing moon, these five decks also represent the five magical elements, fire, earth, air, water, spirit, in that order to help you fine-tune a line. Uh, uh, bring together your intentional work, your spell work, your manifestational work, your law of attraction, your co-creativity, whatever you want to call your divine art form of uh, bringing uh, inspiration into physical form uh, over uh, a, a waxing moon. Let's look at it. The new moon in Cancer, Tuesday, June 28th, 10.52 p.m. Eastern Time. I am in New York. I will be doing some magic exclusively uh, well, it'll be, well, for a moment, it'll be exclusive for my patrons on Patreon, then everybody else will get it. I always do a little new moon, a little full moon, something, a little magic, and this one's gonna, I think, <laughs> be a little revolutionary, I think a lot of revolutionary. Cardinal water, oh yeah, the mother of the zodiac, let's go for it. But then it is planting that seed and watching it grow over the two weeks to the full moon in Capricorn, Wednesday, July 13th. 2.37 p.m. So, it is a general read. It's only five cards. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and absolutely check your other astrological placements if you know what they are, to maybe fill in some blanks. But also, I know for myself, I've got many different seeds I want to plant, particularly since everything changed last week uh, uh, as far as me and my sisters, just in all forms. Yeah. So, uh, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. 
I'm going deep and high for us on this one because as we manifest our heart's desire, we got a better shot at Paradise Planet Earth. So imagine Paradise Island, <laughs> but the whole planet. Please take a nice deep breath. You take your metaphors where you find them. Still point. Indeed. Using the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. For the element of fire, I call to the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism for the Piscean Collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, watching this video and receiving this reading. Blessed, beloved ancestors. What is the magical spell card? The spell fragment to help the Piscean Collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, fine-tune, hone, embrace, purify, clarify their element of fire, what we yearn for, what we burn for, what our hearts desire, this new to full study. Now that covers a lot of ground. Uh, let my mind be clear and strong. Let me study well and long. I know what I'm studying. <laughs> Big time. Well, I am a Virgo sun sign. Pisces moon, born on a full moon. What do you want? All right. So uh, study. Now, study ain't just looking something up. Study is immersive, right? And uh, what that could pertain to, we'll see in the next uh, four cards, obviously. But the vibe I'm getting off that already is there is a serious intention to get to some truth here. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Element of Earth, we're using the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno, one of two bookie book reads. Uh, I mean, I'm going to read from the little bookie book that comes with them. Uh, if you have the stone indicated in the Crystal Oracle, great. <coughs> Use it if you want. You do you. Uh, you don't have it, want to get it, have at it. Uh, but Clear Course does everything. Just program it, charm it, enchant it with... Uh, <coughs> the intention of study and whatever else hits the table here and certainly a piece of jewelry of your choosing can do the same it's just good to have a physical touchstone over the two-week period to remind you particularly because we're ending with a mantra you could do it with so let's see what hits the table for the element of earth very humid day here today please pardon the coughing i'm clearing out a head cold on top of this great please take a nice deep breath Point. As I call to my beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the Archangels of the North, powers of Earth, hence the Crystal Oracle. What is the element of Earth, the fuel to uh, feed the fire, to ground and manifest the heart's desire of study for the Taurus Collective? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading, this new moon to full. Leave it in my hands. The stone you'll want us to work with vibrationally, symbolically, and or literally. This new to full is good old tiger's eye. I forgot my tiger's eye. I do that every single time. <laughs> I've got both the book and the movie of Practical Magic just <laughs> tattooed on my cerebellum. Uh, uh, tiger's Eye, I have a lot of it. Uh, I like Tiger's Eye. There's also Tiger's Iron, which is in uh, this deck, but uh, thankfully the, uh, Tiger's Eye is certainly easier uh, to get a hold uh, of Tiger's Eye. So our keywords are calm, clarity, particularly with study, that's going to be helpful. Balanced emotions. Come on, Pisces. I'm a Pisces moon. I know. I've been feeling wrath and rage over the past couple of days. The dark maiden mother crone rising in me, <laughs> like, big time. Uh, 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 communication. Important, right? Uh, and uh, intuition, which is our gig. Twelfth house is the collective unconscious. It's like the oceans, all as one ocean, connecting everything. Can't see all the way to the bottom, can ya? Right? The unconscious mind. Very, very powerful. If you've been plagued with negative thoughts lately, 
then Tiger's Eye Crystal will help you rid yourself of those and help you regain a positive and more inspiring attitude, which, you know, we need to take our time with. Let's not bypass what it is we're actually feeling, because you can't feel what you won't heal, and you can't heal what you won't acknowledge. Uh, you will soon begin to see things clearly and realize that there was really nothing to fear in the first place. Mileage may vary. Uh, calm your thoughts and start to listen to your intuition. Now that is wise. Uh, know that all is well and that only love surrounds you. And that is the universal high chakra truth of it all. But we may not be experiencing that right now. So perhaps this is more of a spiritual study, right? An intuitive study. Like even the word intuition. Like what do you pay tuition for? Usually for schooling, for education, right? So your inner tuition, what are you willing to pay? to study the truth of what's written in your energy field as truth, not just what's true. <laughs> Work. Calm your thoughts and start to listen to your intuition. Know that all is well and that only love surrounds you. This card is also to do with communication. You may avoid unnecessary turmoil and problems by communicating clearly with others. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't be afraid to express your views honestly and make sure there is no misunderstanding. You will gain respect and admiration for doing so. Themyscira now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just, I could, I could give so many political applications to this right at this moment. Being a gay male on planet Earth, 53 years old. Thanks, I know I don't look it. Uh, uh, but that tiger's eye, absolutely, to have that sense of grounding, that's what I use it for, for centering, but also for that calm, for that clarity, so that we can tune, not necessarily tune out the outside world, no ostrich heads in the sand, no, 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 uh, but so that we can really focus inner, and get, okay, what's my inner guidance, what is it that I need to study, that my intuition, right, my, what I will go through to learn, to get the truth inside of me, right? Let my mind be clear and strong. Let me study well and long of what's going on in my own interior. All right, element of air goes really well with study. We got the healing with the angels oracle here. There's the words that's written on it. That's one element of air process. Think about it, look it up, involve it in your study somehow. Uh, look up original meanings of words. I find that that's the, the, the little click in the, the combo lock that makes it personal for me. Sometimes I'm like, oh, that's what that originally means. That makes more sense personally, right? Uh, as well as these are healing angels, right? There, You call them in. They don't come unless you call them. That's called healthy boundaries, right? They better have them. They're angels, the celestial forces and all of that. Uh, so what kind of healing would the particular uh, healing legion bring uh, to do? Because that uh, usually has a wide spectrum there as well for a general raid. Let's do it. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call to the angels and archangels of water, the sign of Pisces, powers of the West, <laughs> the gateway into the subconscious mind, the underworld, the river sticks, and all that jazz, please. The Gabriel lights, powers of the West. Uh, who are the healing angels that the Piscean Collective can call on, think about, read about, pray to, visualize, read up on, study uh, for their element of air to stoke the fire of study that is their heart's desire, grounding it with the calm, the intuition, the clarity, and the communication of that tiger's eye who's waiting in the wings for us to call this new to full. It's in the title. You know before I do, new love. Now, again, let's keep that general for the moment. We still got two more cards to hit the table. If you want a little bit more specific, because new love could be new love for self, new love for the divine, new love for, I don't know, Italian cooking. New love, certainly, romantically, it could be. But could this be a study of your own intuition to find new love within yourself? What would the healing angels of new love do? Well, I would think they would heal you and prepare you for new love in some way, shape, or form. Remember, this is element of air. So let my mind be clear and strong. Love the thoughts, particularly the ones that are screaming 
to be heard, but that doesn't mean you let them run the show. Because we're not our thoughts. Thoughts are electromagnetic wave wavelengths. They just are. They are, and we receive them in our nervous system through our energy fields, right? And, and so, just because it's a thought doesn't mean it's the truth, <laughs> right? It may look true. Who runs? The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. No, it doesn't. The planet rotates, <laughs> revolves, rotates on its axis, right? Things revolve around, but things rotate on an axis. I had an earth school teacher clarify that for me 20 years ago. I never forgot it. So, uh, you know, for this new love, what do you need to study? You may not know right now, but that's what we're looking at. Grab a piece of tiger's eye. <gasps> My lucky tiger's eye. <laughs> I'm the Nicole Kidman in that situation, yeah. Yeah, I'm not the Sally. I wish I was the Sally. Uh, but no, no. I'm the Jillian. Please take a nice deep breath. Now that was me. <laughs> the Whispers of Love Oracle, the higher selves of all involved. Obviously, if there are other people involved in uh, this new love, their higher selves have a say. But uh, let's see what hits the table. The element of water, our element, but the party turner. Let's see how if the party doth turn. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Still point. I hear the chimes upstairs, the wind chimes. As I call to the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, what is the whisper of love for the Piscean collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading for the element of water, our element, the energy in motion that we experience as emotion in the physical body, but it's, it's, it's just vibrational, right? It's vibrational. Uh, emotions change. We're not our thoughts. We're not our emotions. They pass through us like air and water. But what is the, the message, the oracle, the piece of information, inspiration, insight needed by the Pisces collective to manifest their heart's desire, uh, their element of fire with study, with that tiger's eyes, that calm, that clarity, that deeper connection to intuition, and being able to communicate that with no... Uh, no misconceptions needed because we kind of lay it on the table in the best way possible with the healing angels a new love called in on that that's going to be maybe even expressing that in a way that is more loving than we've ever been before yet loving within all of our self and selves as well so the element of water the whisper of love this new to fall act as if your partner is here <laughs> My being obvious again, how dare I? My being authentic again on camera. Oops, I did it again. Uh, act as if your partner is here. Whether uh, you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Now look, that is tricky, sticky situation uh, on planet Earth right now, and hence the need to study that. Look, I've done it. I visualize it. I even have a YouTube video here, Meditation for the True Lover. Long story, it's in there, Google it, <laughs> don't Google it, but put it in the search, it's in there somewhere on my channel. Um, but certainly, that is a very emotional process to do, particularly when you go really, really deeper in, higher up, call to the healing angels of new love and say, all right, if I ain't got this person in my life, I may not even know who they are, I want to... I, I, I want to connect with them on the highest vibration I can handle, which is usually soul or higher self, right? Uh, and I've done it, and it's not something I do all the time, because it is intensely emotional for me as a Pisces moon, uh, and I've had all sorts of visions and blah, blah, blah. We talk about the stuff on Patreon, actually. It's been a while, but we talk about the stuff on Patreon. Um to feel that, to feel that love and that connection. Now, if you are with somebody, then this is an opportunity to really feel them, right? To to feel what's going on here. Calling in the, heal the healing angels, get very, very clear intuitively and get that there's a learning curve here for everyone. I like it. Regardless of where you are in relation, I think that's very, very powerful. But now our last card down, the Matt Con healing mantra deck. So you get a tiger's eye. Come on, it's not that hard to find, I'm sure. If you look under the couch, <laughs> you have a piece of tiger's eye somewhere. <laughs> if you're following my channel, most likely. Uh, right? Cast for study, that clarity of mind. I mean, it's really all built in there. And you know what? Now that I look at it, same color scheme. 
Same color scheme. I like that. I like that a lot. Calling in the healing angels and new love and acting as if your partner is here, known or unknown, then charge it with this. Every day for two weeks, a little bit. The healing mantra. And just remember, my God, if we can manifest a higher, newer vibration of love on planet Earth, that's going to help a lot. This is why your heart's desires are essential to the divine plan. You don't show up. Plan don't get done. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am a little annoyed, <laughs> to be honest. As I call upon the Ascended Masters of, of Love and New Love, because it's on the table. One card in clarity, the perfect healing mantra. As salty and cynical as I am as a New York gay witch. What is the perfect healing mantra? I'm a mystic. I'll, I'll play along. I'll take the clues, the tips, the hints on the mysterious trail that is called spiritual awakening on planet Earth, time of this recording and always. What is the perfect healing mantra? The element of spirit. Uh, to uh, charge the spell uh, for study, our minds being clear and strong, studying well and long uh, with that tiger's eye vibe in earth clarity, uh, communication, intuition, right? Really, really, really going inside and having the safety, the groundedness and the protection to do that, right? Inner and outer. Calling in the healing angels and new love, healing our minds with new love in all sorts of ways. Uh, and acting as if our partner is here. And that word partner can mean all sorts of different things to all sorts of different Pisceans. So please, one card in clarity, the perfect healing mantra, knock our fishy socks off this new to full, June, July, 2022. Befriending pain when discomfort becomes a friend, my most limiting beliefs are healed. Now, that's not a womp womp. I mean, it is. I will say this is the mantra that got me to Patreon by blowing out my lower back uh, and not really being able to work because I was putting out way more than I was getting back uh, from, uh, from uh, my career at that time. Uh, and some of my most limiting beliefs uh, were actually healed and released. I'm going to read this from the bookie book, but this does make sense uh, when discomfort becomes a friend. So, of course, if you are an energetically sensitive, emotional, vibrational, multidimensional, divine feminine empath, how could you not feel uncomfortable? And it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a couple of years now of just constant inflection point. Inflection point. It's like... <laughs> Book of Revelations checklist if you want to go there, right? It's intense and we feel everything, but we feel it to help heal the collective, particularly Pisces. I mean, everybody's doing that, but we are the ones that kind of get the shark share, instead of the lion share, so uh, to make friends with it, right? And I'm telling you, I feel uncomfortable about even visualizing about who a Per a possible life partner could be, or even if they're incarnate. Oh, I'm sure there's a vibe out there somewhere in the multiverse, <laughs> but are they in this timeline? I don't know. That's the mystery of it. Uh, so to take the study, to take the learning, to take charge of that, but get that it's more internal than external. Uh, let me read from the bookie book. Good old Matt Kahn. Bless his heart. He's really good. I mean, stylistically, you put us next to each other. We totally have two different dimensional uh, manifestations. Uh, he's very Pleiadian. I'm very Lyrian, if you want to bring it down to star seeds and all that jazz. And I don't really like eating kale. It's not my, it's not my gig. I'm a coffee kind of guy. Befriending pain. <laughs> uh, when discomfort becomes a friend, my most limiting beliefs are healed. And by the way, that's also holding space for other people who are going through it, which we do. We do. Pisces, we do that. We can do that and not even being aware that's going on as empaths, right? So to even befriend those in pain uh, brings new love in. Uh, when you befriend pain, you're allowing limitations to be released from the cells of your body. Ancestral pain, uh, genetic uh, emotional patterns passed down throughout your ancestry genetically, written into the genetic code before you ever reincarnate. That's a conversation worth studying. 
because pain is often the result of rapid transformation. And it is. It doesn't feel that way, but it is. Uh, it is essential to make friends with it in recognition of how quickly you are evolving. It might be uncomfortable and sometimes nearly unbearable, but your most profound shifts in consciousness often occur once pain is befriended as an ally of your evolution. And it is an ally. Pain. Because it makes us grow. It's not the only thing that makes us grow. But, you know, you can't heal what you won't acknowledge. And so this is about being authentic emotionally and saying, this sucks. I hate it. Pisces, you may not drown, uh, you may not burn down the village, you might drown it. <laughs> just blow up the dam and just flood the village instead of burn it to the ground. I get it. Absolutely. I'm there. But then what is this act as if your partner is here, right? Someone who would understand without needing to know the entire backstory, right, of how you feel, right? What does that mean to you? What would it mean to have that kind of support? And if you already do have that support in your life, because by the way, again, partner, this may not be wholly romantic for everybody watching this. I know with my mom, where we definitely have a soulmate contract. We're helping each other heal. We always have in this life, at least this life. So it's a very, very powerful mantra. Uh, this mantra is ideal for healing the body, mind, and soul on an energetic level. It's quite the ending of this uh, series because what you're waxing here is a deeper wisdom of yourself, your own ability to heal. And uh, to get that, the transformation that you want in your life is already underway and we're seeing it on the planet but we have to, as Pisceans, be really authentic about how we feel here, tune into our own intuition of what's going on, which sometimes no one else around you gets. Uh, and with that partner, to act as if your partner is here. That's tricky. So, we're going to do a little blessing summation called a, uh, a blessimation. <laughs> Thank you for my patrons on Patreon for coming up with that uh, term, Kimberly. I don't think you have Pisces placements, but thank you. Uh, uh, and then we'll chat a little bit at the end after the blessing. We're doing the blessing for reals. I got the torch of Archangel Ariel here, ready to rock and roll. Literally, it's made of rocks. Um, and uh, yeah, then we'll chat it a little bit and we'll see what comes out my mouth. <laughs> it's been a day. Dark Moon and Gemini doing a Pisces read. Great fun, but worth it. Please take a nice deep breath. I love you. Still point. Take away from my Piscean doulas out there, I feel you. As I call to the collective pantheons of the divine for my beloved Piscean collective sun, moon, rising Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need this new moon in Cancer to full moon in Capricorn. June into July 2022, that we may all befriend pain, because when discomfort becomes a friend, our most limiting beliefs are healed, and oftentimes we rise out of that pain and into great power in a time when it is most needed. Uh, and may we act as if our partner is here, uh, however that manifests for each of us, because whether we have someone in our lives or not, we can act as if uh, there with us so that we always consider them in a healthy way, if that's possible. But maybe calling on the healing angels of new love. Maybe there are new partner, partners, plural, if that's your gig, uh, coming in in all sorts of ways, shapes, and forms. Maybe not just lovers, but friends and family members, uh, soul family members there. So let us do what we can do with that tiger's eye vibe to calm, to go within to be safe and grounded and protected in our own space and our own energy field so that we can pay the price of our own intuition to get the clarity and then the communication that we need to really put out into the world who we are, how we feel and what we want so there is no uh, mistake about it. Manifesting the heart's desire of study here, which is essentially about clarity. So let our minds be clear and strong and let us study well and long for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it so let it be done so much be and so it is not an easy read but i think an important one i feel an important one so did it help you don't have to like it but did it help you hit the thumbs up 
because my god what if this brings in the kind of partnerships we actually need to endure and do what we need to do in this lifetime very very hopeful would be i would think remember partner takes on lots of different meanings there um and if you want more of me here on youtube just subscribe hit the notification bell i put these out when they're done the next series i'm doing <laughs> it has extended readings path of true love reads uh so it's going to take me a little while to do so those could go out at any time and certainly if you want the deeper dive uh the exclusive stuff as well as the stuff that everybody else in the universe will see eventually but they get to see it first then come patreon patreon be a human, a hero, an angel, a witch, an immortal, a god goddess. You can change tiers as you go, go up and down as you like, but it is my beloved community over there uh, serving uh, uh, my soul family, uh, my tribe, my mer people, mer, my fishy family in particular, a lot of Pisces over there. So um, hang in there. I love you. Reach out. And if you want to book me for a reading, it's easy enough to do. Link in the description box. Booking a reading with Mal. A YouTube video will explain it all for you. Just like Clarissa. I have to say it. I know it's stupid. I don't care. <laughs> because I love you. And uh, I want us to have the very best and the very blessed of all of this. Lord knows we've felt enough of it to get there. Hail. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.